close your eyes, and here you are, just sitting here. What can you do with this time? You've got the choice. You can let your mind wander around, or you can decide that you're going to develop some skills. One of the things that struck me when I was teaching in Asia last month was a number of places where people reported they had been told that meditation involves not doing anything. You just sit there with whatever comes up, accept whatever comes up. If you're looking for concentration, well, you just have to wait for the conditions and causes to be right. There's nothing you can do in the present moment. And it's hard to understand how that teaching got grafted onto Buddhism, because it was one of the teachings that the Buddha himself criticized very strongly. He said everything were dependent on past causes and conditions. There would be no path to practice. And he said you would be left unprotected and bewildered. In other words, things would come up and you didn't think you had any way of dealing with them. Then you wouldn't deal with them. And you just have to accept. And sometimes things come up and they're pretty overwhelming if you don't have the right tools. So as we meditate, we're trying to develop tools. We have that choice in the present moment. The way we take on sensory input, the way we look for sensory input, and then what we do with it once we found it. These are all th skills that we can develop. We can either create suffering out of these things, or we can use them as a path to the end of suffering. The choice is ours. So it only makes sense that whatever f free time you have, you devote, it, you devote it to developing these skills. And it's not just a matter of while you're meditating. When you talk to other people, notice what you say that is skillful and what you say that's not. Any job you're doing, try to do it in the most skillful way. When I stayed with a John Fung, he said, being a monk is not just a matter of sitting with your eyes closed. You want to be skillful in all the activities that have to do with you. The way you live, the place you live, the things you use. Everything has to be taken on as a skill, because if you develop that attitude that you're going to do this skillfully, then it com comes into the meditation. So even little things like cleaning up the place, there's a skillful way and an unskillful way of doing it. So look for the skill. Look for the opportunity to develop the skills. They're there. All too often we just ignore them and let other things come in and take over our minds. So clear away all the foliage, clear away all the weeds, and see what you've got in, inside the mind that can be developed into a skill. Bring that attitude toward everything you do, and the practice will develop momentum. As John Fuang would say, you want to make it timeless. So whatever time it is, it's time to practice, time to develop a skill regardless of what the task is right before you. You can make it part of training the mind.